Hello everyone. Welcome to the class of financial accounting. Myself, Dr. Gurneet Kaur Suri, Assistant Professor, St. Xavier's College, Jaipur. So today we'll study introduction to accounting concepts. First of all, we should know the meaning of accounting concepts. Accounting concepts are the basic principles of financial accounting. They are basically the assumptions of financial accounting, which provides the framework towards uh, analyzing interpreting and recording of financial transactions. Let us study these concepts one by one. The first concept is entity concept. Now what does this concept say? This concept says that the business is a separate legal entity. That means the business and businessman are separate. It also means that business is also considered as an artificial person in the eyes of law. So the all the accountability of business is with the business and businessman is separate the second concept is going concern concept now this concept says that the business will operate forever ever means business will keep on will continue forever and ever and this will also help in the long term making the long term investments and taking the long term decisions of the company the next is dual concept now dual concept works on the basis of double entry system that says that every debit has its credit. Now this concept also says that whenever a transaction is recorded, it will be recorded twice, one at the debit side and second credit side. Next concept is the accounting equation concept. What does this concept say? This concept says that all the assets of the company are equal to the total of capital and liabilities of the company this is all this also forms the basis of double entry system of the bookkeeping so as per this concept the, all the assets of the company are equal to the total of capital and liabilities next is accrual concept now what does this accrual concept says this says that the expenses are recognized when they are incurred that means that we will record the expenses when they will be they are incurred and not at the time when they, the payment is made next is revenue recognition concept now this concept also works on two points first is delivery of goods and services second is payment received now what does this mean this means that we will recognize the revenue at the time of the delivery of the goods and services and not at the time when the payment is received that means at the time when the, the goods will be delivered or the services will be delivered at that time only uh, it will be recorded and not and will not wait for the payment to be received next is the cost concept this concept says that we'll assume that the uh, and will record all the assets at their cost price and not at their market price matching concept this concept is related to the revenue and the expenses and this concept ensures that the expenses are recognized in the same period as the revenue so that they can help to generate the matching cost with the benefits. The next and the last concept is verifiable objectivity concept. Now what does this concept say? This concept says that there should be a proof or the evidence of every transaction this proof can be any voucher or anything else but there has to be some uh, evidence for every uh, recording of the transaction so that there can be so, uh, fair reporting and we should know that the information which has been recorded is the reliable one so that's all from my side thank you i hope the accounting concepts are clear thank you